I was just doing my makeup and I thought I would show you guys this. It's um, e.l.f. brow product. It's called the Wow Brow. And um, I know that in one of my recent videos I said that I do not like to shop at Target because they're kind of more expensive. But I actually did get this at Target for a very good price. It was only, I'm going to say 5 or $6. I can't remember exactly, but... It's something that I like to put on my brows because if I don't do my brows really quick and just like don't really think about it, I will be sitting here for 30 minutes trying to make them look perfect. And so that's why I like to just put this on and then even if they're not looking perfect, I just don't think about it and just go on to the next thing. <laughs> that's just kind of how it is with makeup for me. And right now my bangs are like way too long but um, last fall I think it was in September I got my hair cut and when I went to the hair salon the hairstylist I think she kind of misunderstood what I explained that I wanted I wanted it to be like maybe to my jaw and she completely misunderstood I can include a picture of what it looked like but it was like insanely short it was not what I was going for and it's taken nine months for it to grow out like this like this is nine months later it's still kind of a short cut like this is still considered a short hairstyle and it's long compared to what it was I did not enjoy having my hair that short and I don't think that I will ever do that again <laughs> Um, so I'm really enjoying my hair growing back and I need to get my bangs trimmed again, but yeah, I'm just really, I'm looking forward to the day that my hair is longer because I feel like it's hard to style when it's this short. I feel like the only thing I can do is put it in a ponytail. I can hardly even braid it and I, I love to braid my hair. Like it's just so much fun. And so yeah, I'm really looking forward to my hair growing out and being longer and then I can style it easier. So much fun to do stuff with your hair. Today is a Wednesday and what I have to do today is I need to film the Q&A video for the YouTube video you probably already saw. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. I have some cleaning to do. Um, I have some other projects to work on. Um, I have to water my plants outside and some personal projects to work on so it's going to be fun and I'm not sure what all I'm going to be showing so hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Wednesdays are one of my favorite days. I don't know why I just love Wednesdays. It's like you know Monday and Tuesday is like getting warmed up to the week and then by Wednesday you feel like you're warmed up and then Thursday and Friday are kind of like winding down for the weekend. Yesterday was Tuesday. I did things yesterday that I have been procrastinating on for so long and one of those things was I called Medi-Cal because we qualify for Medi-Cal here and so Ever since that we've moved to California probably six or seven months ago, we've been signing up for Medi-Cal, working on like submitting our paperwork and getting approved and like all that stuff. And it's taken so long. When we were living down in Southern California, <clears throat> we were obviously in a different county than we are here. And so we had to switch counties, which was a real headache to get switched over. I'm not sure why they make it so complicated, but that's one part of living in California that is not fun. We do enjoy it here for the most part, but that is something that I stressed over that so bad. And um, there was one day a couple months ago I kid you not, I spent two and a half hours on hold and by the time they finally got on the phone with me, it took another hour until everything was sorted out. So I was on the phone for almost four hours that day. <sighs> My brain was literally numb afterwards. <laughs> And so what I did yesterday was I called at 8 o'clock in the morning as soon as the office opened and I only had to be on hold for 40 minutes. So that was really nice and 
they were really helpful and were able to get things sorted out and were finally able to like move ahead with that but it's just been a real pain and I've been feeling very relieved to know that I've gotten stuff figured out. Filming the Q&A video is now done and we're eating lunch. This is a recipe that my mom would make a lot for us growing up and it's mini meatloaves with this like ketchup brown sugar and mustard sauce on top and then orange rice which is made with some um, orange flavoring I think it's called Sazon I have no idea how to pronounce it well now it's after lunch I'm gonna sit down and have some quiet time I have my tea and I'm gonna journal and just take some time to sit and be quiet Liam is in his bed he does not take naps but he has to have quiet time too and that's just the rhythm that we follow every day I feel it so much when I don't sit down and spend time to process. I feel so much better whenever I do this. So that's why I make it such a high priority. All right, it's a little bit later. I'm gonna drink a LaCroix and clean. I don't have that many dishes right now, but it's still kind of dirty and just needs to be wiped down and organized. It just gets messy after a bit and the stove is really dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up. Toys and just random stuff. And Liam brought in a pile of sticks. You brought in sticks, Liam? Sticks? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to clean up now. When I was pregnant with Liam, my midwife told me that I should wash the floor on my hands and knees with a rag because it helped to get Liam, the baby, into position to come out. And so um, I did that. And previously I had just been using a, I had just been using a Swiffer mop. And when I went for the first time and washed the floor using a rag and like on my hands and knees I was shocked to realize how dirty the floor was and that the Swiffer was not getting it very clean and so I've just like kept up that habit and this floor it's like a very small amount of floor to wash anyways so I just go over it really quick with a rag and it takes five minutes and gets it way cleaner and I don't know where I would even store a Swiffer like it feels like it would just take up too much room so <laughs> that's just a little thing that I do That's a mosquito. Mosquito? Mosquito? Yeah. Yeah. Mosquito. So it's the next morning and we went for a walk and we found this beautiful spot. And it has a little creek. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're back from our walk and I think we're gonna have some apricots. 
somebody gave us these fresh off of a tree and they're so delicious let me just look at the coloring so yummy Good. yummy huh Is it yummy yeah yummy Mmm, that mm. flavor. So mm. good, huh? Mmm. I made sure to go for that walk early because it's not quite 9.30 and it's going to be in the 90s today. So I wanted to make sure we went before it got hot and so it's nice and cool still. Um, it's going to be getting really hot over the weekend though, so get prepared for the heat. I just made a few phone calls because um, Liam needs to have a pediatrician checkup. Um, it's a requirement because we are a part of WIC and I also booked a hotel night stay because Mike and I, our four year anniversary is coming up in July. It's July 11, um, so I booked a night for us at a hotel. It's kind of funny because at our wedding, my mom gave us some gift cards for a certain hotel and we it was like right in the middle of COVID. So we actually didn't end up going anywhere for our honeymoon and we never used the credit card um, credit cards. We never used the gift cards. And um, so I've just been saving them for something special. I just booked a hotel night stay for us. Thankfully, the gift cards make it so that we don't have to pay for the hotel room and it's just gonna be fun i'm really looking forward to that so i just got that booked and i do have somebody who is able to keep liam overnight that's going to be the first time that i'm not with liam for a whole night so we'll see how that goes but he's such a good sleeper and he's such a good he he usually does really good at night so i'm not worried and i think he's going to do really well corduroy yeah corduroy and he's missing a button. Button? Yeah. yeah. So he's going to go look for it. Sit down? Mm-hmm. Sitting down. He's climbing down. Climbing? Climbing. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. So I just gave Liam some quiet time. He was in his bed and looking at this book. And it's like an I Spy book based on Disney Pixar movies. And I think I've seen pretty much all of these movies. Liam has not. Um, but except for this one, I have not seen this movie called Up. And Liam was sitting in his bed very very quietly and so i went to look at him and he was looking at the book and then he like burst into tears and i was like what's wrong i didn't know what the matter what was the matter because <clears throat> it wasn't like there was anything that could have hurt him or something um and then i noticed he was looking at this page looking at the man and he was like okay and he had this huge pouty lip like that and he was like asking if the man was okay and I was like yeah he's okay like it's okay and so then we stopped having quiet time and he still wanted to look at the book so we were looking at it again and he turned to this page again yeah he's okay I don't know what happened in the movie but yeah Again, he just kept looking at that man and asking if he's okay and he just burst into tears and sobbed and sobbed and sobbed. I just, I don't know what happened in the movie. I don't know why it affected him that way. But at first he was just crying about that picture. Just like the street lights lit this time Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how
Hello everybody, it's the next morning and actually it's almost afternoon at this point. I just, I was so tired this morning, I did not feel like taking a video. So I did not and we went grocery shopping and now I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. And I am planning on making like an updated grocery video, but um, just for now I'm just going to go over this real quick. I got a bunch of eggs and I know that's a lot, but I'm planning on making some deviled eggs. Um... So yeah, that's why there's quite a few eggs. And paper towel, milk. We have wick, which helps so much. Um, so I'm able to get like milk in the juice and um, a bunch of other stuff with wick. Um, but yeah, we got the milk and apple grape juice, half and half, sour cream, butter, lemon juice, ketchup, bagels, flour, um, some hot dogs, and then a bunch of chicken. Um, I got the boneless, skinless chicken thighs and then some chicken drumsticks because we already have some more burgers in the freezer and so I didn't need to stock up on those. And I got this with wick because that will help us to have maybe some fajitas this week with the chicken and I got some bell peppers and garlic and jalapenos for the um, fajitas. Then I just got some ramen and noodles canned stuff. It's always super handy to have on hand. Tomato sauce, tomato paste right there. And then we were out of cooking spray. Coffee. I love the coffee from Winco because you can get it in the bulk and it's just way cheaper and it's pretty good too. Popcorn. And I really wanted some mandarins because we just need so much vitamin C in this heat. We always crave stuff like that. Bananas, carrots, again whole grain pasta from Wick, and the cheese from Wick as well, and the yogurt. Then this is one of the things I love about Winco is that you can get spices in the bulk section and it's so much cheaper. So I think this is curry powder garlic powder, sea salt. We love this sea salt. It's so good. And this pack costs like 30 cents, I think. And I got coriander. Yeah, I think that's it for the spices, but I love Winco for that. And then I just got a few lollipops because, you know, sometimes we like to have candy. And then garlic and some peaches. Peaches? Peaches. So I'm going to have to go ahead and put away all these groceries and finish eating lunch all that stuff it's gonna be a hot day so maybe we'll be in the pool this afternoon so mike was i asked him last night about this movie up and he has seen it and he said apparently that it's a really sad movie um and so like maybe it's just liam is learning how to be aware of other people's emotions and he's noticing that sorry this is upside down <laughs> He's noticing that the guy is distressed, and so maybe he's just learning about emotions. So I was trying to teach him... Distressed? Yeah, he's distressed. He's upset. Upset? Yeah. Sometimes you're upset too, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I guess this could be an opportunity to teach him about that. If you guys have tips for pantry organization, please comment and let me know because I feel like I need to do better with organizing. I'm thankful to have food, but I really need to get some organization figured out here. We got our freezer full again. And the fridge, it's always a bit of a tight fit, but I did manage to get it all in there. And I try to always keep my original containers so that I can fill them. So I have these two, but I forgot and threw away my salt container and my coriander container. So I'm going to just leave them in the bags for now. And then maybe I can buy some cheap plastic containers because I think Winco has them too. And this is always one of my favorite spots. <laughs> it just looks so pretty and colorful. Just curious if this brings back childhood memories for any of you. I know it does for me. So we're sitting outside 
in the pool and it's like 93 degrees right now and tomorrow it's going to be over a hundred tomorrow and sunday are going to be very hot so that's fun um i had a very nice little reprieve because we were having quiet time and liam like never takes naps but he actually fell asleep so i was able to like rest a little bit like in a way that's different than when he's just having quiet time like it was so nice i might have a chance to read a little bit sometimes liam splashes a lot but hopefully i can read for a minute good morning it's saturday morning i'm making bacon um and last night we went to someone's house and we didn't get home till pretty late so we slept in and it's like nine o'clock now um and we're just gonna have breakfast and have a chill day so it's gonna be super hot so i'm thinking we'll probably be outside and just hanging out Good morning everybody. Liam is still sleeping so I'm just trying to be a little quieter so he doesn't wake up. It's probably about 7 o'clock in the morning and I usually have been getting up around 6 most mornings so that I can work on writing my book which is super fun. That's what I've been doing right now. I forget if I said this already but it's Monday morning and the weekend was a little crazy. Saturday we just had a chill day and I really needed to rest because last week was kind of an intense busy week for me so I just really needed to spend time resting so that's why I took such a long nap on Saturday and just like we just kind of hung out and um, we just had a nice day together and then on Sunday we had a very busy day a friend took us out on their boat and then there was a little women's gathering at her church and then we had church in the evening we just go to a home church and it's a small little group but they're such sweet people and yeah it's a really good time so that was the weekend and now it's monday and yeah time to get back into the swing of things 
we just got back from taking our walk and i am so glad that we went early it's not quite 10 o'clock and it's almost i'm gonna say it's 80 some degrees like 87 degrees or something like that it's supposed to be pretty hot today again so i was like already sweating <laughs> and i had to put my hair up i had had it down with the claw clip and i had to put my hair up because it's just like too hot and sweaty on my neck if my hair is down <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna be having a snack or some yogurt and um, i'm gonna be doing some cleaning here in a minute okay here's a bit of a gardening update for you i did not water them yesterday because we were gone like all day but for the cucumber plant, I noticed that the leaves were getting some white spots on them. So I looked it up and it's some kind of fungus. So I plucked off all the leaves that were affected and now these new fresh leaves are growing and it looks healthier. So yeah, I'm really hoping for the success of that plant. And here's my yellow bell peppers. This one is growing several peppers already. So that's fun. And then my tomatoes, there's one that's growing down there, turning color. Then we got more tomatoes. And then this one's my jalapeno plant. Yeah, yeah hot peppers. Some more. Yeah, there's some more yellow bell peppers. And then my squash plant is growing like a crazy Sorry. amount. I'm hoping that it's going to like come out of here and spill down onto the ground looks like that's what it's doing and there's some blossoms and then this one i just noticed this is the thai chili pepper and there's a bunch of like little peppers that are growing i don't know if you can see because they're still tiny but there's a bunch of them growing on there and i'm super happy about that and then here is my strawberry plant and it's growing another plant so hopefully i can root that one sometime soon we got to sample the strawberries that were on the plant last week so that's my little tiny garden i have a bunch of seeds that i want to plant but i haven't been able to get more dirt yet so i'm really hoping to actually grow some hydroponics seeds yeah. yeah so i will share the hydroponics process if i get that figured out soon Something that I just don't really talk about very often on here is my piano. I do not keep it set up all the time because it takes up half the space in the living room. So I just keep it like stored away and then get it out occasionally when I want to play. And I'm trying to get it out more often because for the first year of us living in the camper, I just didn't really play very much and I have really missed it. And so I've just been trying to get it out more often and play. And unfortunately, I can't share much of any playing because I don't have the copyright to any of the like songs that I play so um, I don't want to get a copyright strike. I unfortunately can't share that on YouTube. I thought I would just show a little bit of that.
All right, it's the last day that I'm going to be filming for this vlog. Um, I feel like this video might get a little bit longer, so I guess we'll see what all that I'll film today. I'm feeling like I need to be slower today. Something that I've been learning about since Liam was born is that I need to listen to my body and try to do the things that I feel like doing or not doing. And this morning, I feel like my body is telling me to just like slow down and rest so i've been trying to do that and so i haven't really been doing very much yet today i just was reading a little bit in my book um in my kindle and i need to finish reading my bible and i'm going to be filming a podcast episode probably a little later this morning Maybe I'll do some baking and some other things, but I'm just trying to like slow down and take it easy today. I've been doing so many walks recently, trying to get a lot of exercise, and so my body is like adjusting to all of that, and I'm feeling just like I've um, stretched my muscles quite a lot, and so they need to rest today. Yesterday, Liam was having a bit of a hard day because we had such a um, full weekend and he had a couple of late nights and so he was so tired and feeling very emotional and just like not really acting like himself and so last night he went to bed at like 7 30 and slept all night and woke up maybe like 6 30 this morning and he is just doing so much better this morning and it's just crazy how much sleep affects little kids Okay, well, it's a couple hours later and um, I'm going to be closing the vlog here, but I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of those of you who have um, given through the super thanks feature here on YouTube. It has helped so much and I am so grateful to all of your all of you who are so thoughtful and generous and it makes more of a difference than you might think so thank you so much liam is just struggling because he woke up from a nap and he doesn't want to wake up so that's what's the problem thank you guys so much for watching and all the things that you do to help out my channel it means the world to me and I hope that you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.